Hello everybody and welcome again welcome back to another stencil tutorial that's S T E N C Y L dot com. Um as you can see we have Mumbo. But he's on my uh, um my snow theme, which is uh, um is a uh, uh, um free uh platform one that I picked up a long time ago. It was uh, um released in two thousand eight and so I've been in here trying to modify it. As you can see, I got platforms in here now. I removed the background out of it. I got uh, uh, my ground in here. I created custom edges for this one. And as that's what this uh, video is about: is making custom edges and modifying it so that it'll work with your your backgrounds or whatever you do, decide to do. So we'll take a look at snow. Again, you've probably already seen it if you've seen one of my other ones. As you can see, we have just regular platform stuff in here, and a lot of it is duplicate. As you can see, <coughs> I have this block right <coughs> right here clicked because I wanted to create an empty block so I can go back and erase uh, uh, blocks from the game. Because there's only two ways to do it. One is you can go edit, undo, and, and to remove whatever you just did, or you have to create a, a blank block in order to go back and erase it like a pencil. Okay, so we're going to run over here and go back to our theme. And we're just going to grab some stuff and throw it in here. And I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, and then we'll show you how to create it. Okay, so we're going to grab our little platform. And we're just going to put it out here a few, few hundred times. Okay, now, like I said, there's two ways to do this. One is to go up here. It says edit. A new place uh, tile, and then we're just going to remove all the ones that we created. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, we removed all the ones we created. Now, another way to do it would be to uh, um, put your tile in place. As you can see, I, I have tiles already in place, and then you would want to take your blank block with no collision. Since it's uh, blank, it is invisible. So we we basically we're gonna erase the block. Um, so that's basically what happened. Is there is a block there with no collision, but you can't see it, so you don't really notice it. That's the only other way I know how to remove blocks is to put a block over top of it that shows all the way through. Because you can't right click on it and, and get it to disappear. I've tried. So let's put that back. Um, we just want to take a little bit here. And no, I think we want to go a little bit here. Uh, yeah. I think I want to go a little bit bigger. So we'll put that piece in and then we'll grab the next piece next to it, like that. And do it like that. Okay. So that's how to um, remove your tiles once you place them is either by going edit and undo placement or creating a uh, um, uh, uh, one that's empty so that you can just go in and remove anything that you want uh, it's still there it's just invisible so you can't see it okay <clears throat> let's go into our, uh, our template file then we're gonna go okay since this is uh, already been modified we'll modify this one in the top corner because I don't really need that one either um, so what we want to do is we want to go edit frame, then we want to go edit image, brings up the uh, pencil thing, in here in order to create an empty block we just erase it all, and then we hit save, and there's nothing more to it other than set OK to accept the changes. So now we have two blocks in the top corner, so I have a wider area I can sweep when I'm wiping stuff out. Okay, other thing I did was I modified the uh, images. As you can see in this one here, it has an outer edge. If you look at this one, I took the, the background color out of it so that the only thing in there is the actual piece. And, and and that's the difference between if I place this one out there and if I place that one out there. As you can see the difference in 
the um me putting it out here. Let's let's get one of these other ones here. Uh, let's take one of these ones that have background color and set it up here. As you can see, it's now more square versus it rounded like the other ones, and, and that's not good. So basically, you want to edit your images wherever you can in order to remove background color so that it looks like it blends pretty nice. As you can see, I've done pretty well. It could be better if I wanted to take more time and, and re-edit it, but I can re-edit it in the future. Right now, I'm just playing around, getting a basic idea. Even even if you're just playing around, getting a basic idea of what you want, and then go back and edit it. If you edit your tiles while uh, um, while you still have the game open, all tiles of said region or said exact piece that you use would change. So we're gonna do that. As you can see, we got this tile here. We're going to go into our template set, and we're going to edit this one, and we're going to edit this one, and we'll edit, uh, yeah, we'll just edit these two corners here, and you'll see that these on the screen will change to match. So we'll go in here, we'll go over here, and then we'll go hit edit frame. So if you make one modification on your uh, uh, image in the whole thing, then the whole thing changes. Because it remembers which piece you use, so you got to be gentle what you're doing. Okay, oh, try to stay off the side of the screen here so that I don't erase my whole game. No, nope. oh, oh, I'm gonna get it off. Oh, okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll hit save change. Up, oh, I'm falling asleep again. I keep waiting for it to uh, close itself, but it doesn't. As you can see, we, we cleaned it up a little bit. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. Okay, now we'll do that same with the bottom. Edit frame, image. I'm going to clean up this bottom corner. We'll start out here. We're right on the edge. That way we can pull it out as far as we need to try and get up under it. And as far to the side. As you can see, I'm not editing actually up on the on the image itself because my pencil, I haven't figured out how to change the size of it yet. <clears throat> but like I said, what do you want? Seven days into it, I'm having fun. Okay? And and a lot of the reason I'm doing these video tutorials is to remind myself if, if I ever forget what I did to do it. Um, that way, I can get it that way. Okay, let's see. As you can see, as you, the corners are now semi-rounded. Uh, versus the the square shapes that they were originally. That's only because we just edited it. So even if you put all your stuff in place now, and, and you decide you want to do the graphics changes later or the editing later, as long as you're not changing your tile set completely, you can go in and make small changes, and and, and they won't affect anything. The only time they would affect something. As if you were like uh, modifying one that you had used that wasn't really a, a corner one, and, and it was, you had it inside something else, then it would make a difference in your design. You'd have to actually go and say, "Okay, well, I just need to replace it with something else." Other than that, you know, you can almost do anything with your uh, designs. Let's go in here. Let's go undo plate tile because I don't want extra blocks out here. But that's the basics of working with your blocks and how to get them to change. And like I said, if, you, if you're not happy with the way they look at the start, don't worry about the way they look. More get the idea of how the overall game is. And then go back and, and customize it to meet your needs. You know, if you don't like a place where a certain uh, piece is, you can always remove it at a later date and time. But the whole object is to get started. Great. Big old platforms that are about 120 to 260 long, you know, and, and, and go to town with it. Or if you want, make them, uh, um, what is this, uh, like 30 tiles wide by, say, uh, um, 300 high, you know. Make it like a tower where he's got to go up and up and up or he's got to go down, 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 down. You know, put it in your region so he can switch between uh, um, scenes. See if he is... You like what you see, you know, put in doors with regions to make it look like he opened the door and went through. You know, there's so much you can do with these games.
and, and it's so easy to use. Okay, every, everybody, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And again, I'm, I'm doing my best for seven days into it to make these videos as uh, most comprehensive as possible. I did add two videos uh, showing you how to do the power-ups and how to do uh, uh, changing characters. I, I did not actually show you the code on how to do it. So if you want to see the code on anything that I have that I didn't add code for, uh, just give me a shout out and I wouldn't mind sharing it with you. Okay? So have a great one. Enjoy.